back to it. You ain't shown me no love, so I turn my back to you. Yeah, yeah. I can't get no racks to you. Hey, what's up? Crunker merch and trees that are birch. It's your boy Quaxer27, and in today's video, I'll be telling you guys if Crunker merch is worth buying. Now, a fact to start out with here is that Crunker has an official merch site. The only way I believe that this is actually public is through the wiki, which is how I found this after seeing probably Lad's video. And the way they have this site set up is that it's actually a print on demand site. The basic way print on demand works is Crunker just import some things onto some shirts and these are basic shirts and templates and stuff so then the warehouse will print it every time somebody buys something not like an inventory where Crunker would buy a thousand shirts and sell them this alleviates them from having to have a bunch of stuff printed out and then be stuck with the inventory however this also causes them to get less money off of it and them not to really be able to set the prices. They would apparently make five to eight dollars per shirt apparently, however this was one Google search and not the actual website as I'm not too qualified to speak on how much print on demand actually makes. And now we get down to the real question of should you buy Crunker's merch? And to answer this question I would like to look at the positives and negatives of the items that they are selling. One positive thing is that it's being done professionally, so you know you'll be getting your shipping right, and there's going to be returns and all that stuff, I'm pretty sure, so the customer service should be pretty decent. Some of the decent ones that you could buy would be the baseball hat, the drawstring bag, and the mouse pad. While there are some positives, I do like to look at the negatives as well. One negative is the cost of these items. The hat that was before mentioned is like $20. The mouse pad is like $16. The current mouse pad I'm using, I got for like $3 in like a pack of three. It's absolutely insane for the price. And the drawstring bag is like 15 bucks, when it's probably like worth like three. Another negative would be that the items aren't going to be the highest of quality as they're print on demand and they like to maximize their profit. So it's going to be like a Gildan type of shirt where it's not bad, but it's not the highest quality for the actual price. Also, it has some very weird items on their store, such as a Crunker Polo, the Crunk League 2019 t-shirt, the women's crop top with Crunker logo on it, and all of the Guest One merch. So, considering all the negatives and positives, do I think that you should buy this merch? The answer is going to be a no from me, however, if I wore a baseball hat, I would definitely pick up that baseball hat as it looks pretty clean for 20 bucks, which is a decent price for a hat. The main reason I'm saying no is just the price for the item of what you're getting, which isn't going to be great quality. Anyway, let me know if you guys have ever bought any Crunker merch down in the comments below. Make sure to join my Discord server. We have daily giveaways going on right now. Pretty sure we have a Relic giveaway going on right now in the server. So make sure to join up, and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it off.